Greetings and welcome to RF Cafe. I'm Kurt Blattenberger, the founder and webmaster of the website. I'm an electrical engineering graduate of the University of Vermont and I've worked as an RF engineer for quite a few years. And I founded the site originally to help me with resources and finding components and equations, tables, that sort of thing that I was looking for in doing my job. And over the last eight or nine years, it's grown to about 3,000 pages. So what I'm going to do is give you a little bit of a tour to help you navigate the site and give you a clue as to some of the features that you can find. So when we're going to start up here at the very top, I've got a menu system where items are grouped uh, into engineering resources, equations and tables, special interest, industry standards, RF cafe information. And they, these are good launching points. Most of these end up going to uh, other pages that have lists to expand from there. Other ones go directly to the content. This area in particular, even though it consumes a small space on the menu, is actually a huge resource of equations and tables and links to other websites that have information that you need. Uh, I've created a lot of the content myself, but uh, I can't do everything, so I've provided links for you to other websites that have done the information. Uh, over here, these are a group of resources that are most commonly needed by RF Cafe visitors. There's uh, books on engineering, links to education and other engineering sites, uh, test notes, technical papers, white papers, magazine articles, expert witnesses. I've got a calendar of events up at the top here. Uh, let you know what's going on. Special interest, I have things that are more towards the hobbyist or something uh, kind of a side exercise for you. I've done a number of quizzes right up here that are good fodder for both uh, interviewers and interviewees because most of the information is relevant to RF and electrical engineering, so they're good uh, interview type questions. I got a, a weekly crossword puzzle that I do that has engineering themed words, uh, uh, uses scientific and mathematical and uh, physics types of, of clues and words. Uh, engineering humor and jokes and just just a little bit of uh, side exercise for you. Over here I have industry standards, a lot of the information I've done myself, but if you can't uh, find what I've done, then I've got links to other websites. Many times the actual governing bodies that generate and control the standards. Uh, some RF, in, RF Cafe uh, software and products that I've created. The on the, the web page itself, I've got a daily day in history that have events that are relevant to, to engineering and science. Uh, I have technical headlines that I go through every weekday, a couple dozen engineering and science websites looking for fodder that would be of interest to you. Um, over here I have a couple of columns that are some of them updated weekly, some of them daily, some of them monthly. Uh, I got a notable quote that I look for statements by either contemporary or, or historical figures that are sometimes humorous, sometimes pretty hard-hitting. I get a look for an interesting uh, picture and video that have to do with engineering. This particular one is for the, for the video is the Purdue Society Professional Engineers uh, Rube Goldberg contest. They're winning hamburger making machine. Um, down here I try to find an interesting product to put in here that's relevant. It's, uh, this one happens to be a micro-machined uh, KA band coaxial transmission line. Um, press releases that are sent to me both by RF Cafe advertisers and by other companies. If you, your company wants a press release, feel free to send it to me. I've got a column here that I do about once a month that has to do with uh, current events or some sort of technology that's in the news whatever, sometimes it's humor, sometimes it's, it's serious, but uh, that's a good read for you. I have a poll that runs over here. You don't have to register, just uh, uh, give your opinion and click the enter button and it gets registered. I'm going to go back up at the top over on the left side here underneath the uh, RF Cafe logo. There's links to the RF Cafe forum and blogs. Uh, I encourage you to go to the forums. We'll go there real quick. And there's quite a bit of interactive uh, usage here. I've got 
categories on anecdotes and humor that you can enter some of the funny stuff that's happened in your uh, work environment or in school. Uh, amateur radio, software, antennas, circuits, components, education and employment. I've got a swap shop if you have something you want to sell or, or trade on here. Uh, test and measurement, just a lot of good categories. Uh, you are required to register because that's the only way I can keep all the junk postings from cluttering up the website and having to spend time uh, cleaning them out. I've got a search function over here that is extremely useful because of there's so many pages on RF Cafe. It's a Google uh, page that searches specifically on RF Cafe. Over here I've got a site map that is kind of a glorified version of the menu that just has a few more levels of information but I still highly recommend using the search if you just want to find something quickly and don't have time to peruse the site. Here we have jobs and resumes. There's a number of companies that uh, are advertising jobs for engineers and technicians and engineering managers on the site. There's a scrolling list of the logos for these companies. We've got a lot of, a lot of big name companies in here. Uh, Boeing, RFMD, Lockheed Martin, Cisco, uh, Tektronix, Lynx, Sony, iTron, Microphase, Garmin, just a whole big list of them. And they, they actually list specifically on RF Cafe. Uh, if you'd like to have your resume posted on RF Cafe, I've got a place where you can submit your resume and I'll post it for you. And when it's time to pull it down, just send me an email and I'll be glad to take care of it. Back up here at the top on the left, there's a huge section called Components and Vendors. If you go there, you'll see an alphabetical listing of components that go to separate pages. Uh, they have listings both by our paid advertisers, which are these folks that run along the, the borders of RF Cafe. They're the ones that uh, bring RF Cafe to you. I'm going to go to Amplifiers just as an example because that's a pretty big page full of information. And if you look, these highlighted ads are ads that are representative of companies that are sponsoring RF Cafe and uh, I encourage you to use their products first. If you can't find what you need there, if you keep going down on the page, you'll see these text listings. These are provided free of charge. I'll be glad to add your company in here if you would like to be in it. Um, I'm going to scroll back up to the top here. As I said, that's a very long list. Um, then I'm going to go back to the RF Cafe homepage, and from there I'm going to give you an example just of this equations and tables category, just how extensive it is. I clicked on the electronics listing. I know it's hard to see on this level of the video, but there's there's a very extensive listing of of uh, topics. Most most of these links go to other pages on RF Cafe where I have unique content that I've created for it. And from a lot of those pages, you can also get to other websites that have more information. Uh, so I encourage you to, to take a look there. One other interesting area would be in the calculators. I have a pretty good listing of online type calculators, not downloadable software, but where you can go to the website and actually find a, a calculator to use right on the spot. Uh, there's also a link from the RF Cafe. I have quite a few of my own that I've generated. Uh, you, can, you can look at those. So that's about it for the, the quick tour. Uh, I encourage you, if you have any co content that you would like to have added to RF Cafe, to either send it to me or send me an email that uh, requests that I find it and put it on RF Cafe. I'll be glad to do that if I can. Uh, so come on over and uh, visit the site, take a few minutes and, and look around, and I'll see you on the site.